Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. And despite the calmness in the background, guys, the theme in the last episode was definitely urgency. And um, we have that on two fronts. The first is here at the mainframe where Navigator is trapped and Killer is roaming around. And it's only a matter of time before Killer is actually able to reach Navigator. And we definitely don't want that to happen. Now, uh, we're going to be taking care of that, but as I said, that's not all. If we go ahead and descend and head back over to the green belt, or the greenway, we also need to help out Fang. Now, Fang is currently under the gun. He is trying to work through Harden's defenses in the cloud. And um, if we're not able to help him before this clock runs out, I don't know what's going to happen to Fang, but probably nothing good. So, um, we've got some low dice and some high dice, and I believe the dice that we need to help out Fang, I think this is maybe the last one, is six. So let's go ahead and put that there, get a little bit of coin. X3 port location. And our last Ripper Worm. The final layer control surveillance. With this down, Fang should be able to control the facility's cameras. Ah. The Ripper Worm chews through the camera control. The moment it does, a thread shoots from the facility. A thread from this facility cuts through the cloud like a hairline crack of light. That's it. The final layer of security broken in the data ghost of the eye. Somewhere, buried in the depths of the station, Fang is in control. He's slicing into the camera control circuits and piping out the result. The thread flickers and unravels into an image. A scene. Two figures in a room. One sat, the other pacing. The pacing figure resolves into Harden. The unmistakable superior posture. The shock of gray hair. The second, second figure's features don't seem to resolve. They're vague, unformed. Problem with the data, perhaps? You look closer. Then you see it. The figure is a proxy. Perhaps you should have expected it from Conway, a corporation whose very existence is owned to automation. The proxy is a machine, designed to be piloted by remote connection. Somewhere elsewhere in the system, puppeteering it with their own body, speaking so that may, it may speak. The proxy sits impassively, or the Conway executive that is piloting them does, from the distant safety of some ship or orbital colony, perhaps. Then we can move forward, there's no doubt, Harden is saying. The reclamation teams are almost ready, and after that I'll make the declaration. Nothing has to change. The proxy leans forward, its movement stilted, uneven, as if its body was being refracted through water. But things must change, Harden. We need further assurances. I've been informed of a breach in one of the closed networks of the low end. You have been careless. Harden waves the accusation away. Yeah, we have been stretched. A breach was detected, yes, but no data of value was lost. Our board is concerned, Harden. A drop in our value would be unwelcome at this time. The proxy leans back, its posture dominant. If the reclamation of AE-1 is contested, then we could be drawn into a compromising legal position. Harden approaches the proxy. There'll be no contest. Not from Solheim, who cannot muster a defense. And not from Haven Age, who will fall into line below me. He crouches in front of the seated figure, eye to eye. And the people of this station? Refugees, gangs, spacers, all either opportunists or degenerates. Haven Age is no longer strong, no longer united. No one here believes in Erlen's vision, nor has the strength to enact it. I sat across from him at the negotiating table. He was forceful eager, weakened by his ideological convictions perhaps, but a great man nonetheless. 
This place no longer deserves to bear his name. The eye is crippled. It cannot survive. It is a ruin filled with squatters and outlaws. They'll be lucky if it still spins in a hundred cycles. Harden stands. You'll move forward with the reclamation, because otherwise you'll lose your advantage in the system. Without your advantage, you'll lose claims on the remaining palladium. Without the palladium, your factories will go dark. He pauses. Do I need to continue? One moment, comes the response from the proxy, and his head drops to its chest. Harden steps back and paces once more, awaiting the discussion taking place elsewhere in the system. You watch Harden as he paces, as he considers his future. What goes on within a mind like that? In the mind of a man who would burn all those around him for a path to some imagined golden end. The proxy lifts its head. We are happy to proceed. We will legally claim the station formerly known as Solheim. I don't know what that symbol is, like Alpha or AE. One. As salvage within six cycles. Haven Age is to assist with the transport of the illegal residents to Conway housing and labor facilities. The proxy judders to its feet. Conway will also reclaim 70% of the raw output of the reclamation process after losses have been accounted for. Harden nods. I accept. The proxy reaches out to shake his hand like a marionette. And then the recording loops. You watch it play out a second time, gripped by a horrified fascination. There's a bluntness, a bluntness to the conversation, to its blatant disregard for humans as anything other than objects. Things to be moved, to be used, to be fed into structures, crushed, and losses accounted for in the cells of tables, the margins of ledgers. You realize now that you're no different than anyone else on this station in the eyes of the people in that room, and those like them. Each body here could be recast as a piece of property, a tool, an expense, an acceptable loss. In one moment they can be named a citizen, celebrated, protected, and in another the very idea of citizenship can be used against them. That is what it means to live in proximity to a system like this. No longer. Not while the eye spins. You gather the recording, pack it into a polygon of purest light. Then you drift down into the service stock like a falling leaf and find the relay. It only takes a second to place that polygon of data, the recording, into the relay system Fang prepared. And then you watch as it bursts out, a web of threads, heading out into the black, to every network device on the eye. Let them see what power makes of a man. I'm going to show them a world without sin. Icebreaker. Neat. And another um, point here. Okay, Greenway Gate. We don't have the thing for that. Where is Fang? Okay, we have that. I mean, we still have a lot to do here. Um. Go ahead and cross over. Maybe Fang is back in familiar territory. Oh, Fang's Bay. Haven Age in crisis. The building is chaos. Most of it is in total lockdown. No one give you a straight answer about Fang or Harden. Yeah, well, these things happen. What about the Haven Age offices? Okay, no one's saying anything about that right now. Okie doke. Um, we got a scrap freighter here if we want to... I mean, they've got one more allowance. Action unavailable. Alright. We already got some good coin in the last episode. Now we got three upgrade points. Let's go ahead and... Pop up our interface. Yes. And now we'll just start leveling everything up one at a time. 
now. We gotta go save our uh, our navigator, buddy. Up, up, up. So we gotta loop the branches. Ah, yes, but now we have a plus two to our interface, which will give this a five. 50% positive, 50% neutral. Let's see what happens. Big bucks, no whammies. Yes! Okay, cool. As you blink into the cloud, you see the last flickers of life from the mainframe. This vast machine once ran the whole station, span it up, directed and processed the flow of energy, water, and data, fed the lives of thousands of people. Now, it's finally dead. Navigator is beside you, and you both look out at the perfect ring that encircles you both, woven from the data branches that once fed the mainframe. You see a glint along its edge, and that familiar blade-like head rises to the surface, like the cresting fin of a shark, and then slips into the loop again. As you can see, all that you can see of Killer's body after that is slight thickening of the loop, and that thickening begins to travel around on a long and slow sojourn that will last it forever. Now remember, we decided to trap it instead of kill it. I am surprised at you, says Navigator, drifting faintly around you in a lazy orbit as if to shake off their imprisonment. Killer had been wandering blind for so long. Did you not think to end them forever? Perhaps they can be saved. You are naive. They are a killer by nature. Look at what they did to their own home. Navigator gazes into the darkness. This place was their domain and prison, and they had followed their directives for the many decades they roamed here. They cut the threads of the mainframe, executed its administrator AIs, and then kept slicing. At some point, they cut away their own ability to see, to sense, to taste, to speak. And yet they kept cutting, until only those three he threads remained, from millions that once thrummed here. Only their blindness and chance kept them from making those final three fatal cuts. There is a ceaseless violence in the kind of system that creates beings like this. Those that will execute commands endlessly, even to their own destruction. Navigator looks to you for your thoughts. I will not continue the violence. The system you float in is one built of violence. You would be naive to believe otherwise. Navigator turns away. You watch the data points of the station spin around you, blending with the fixed stars. There's something satisfying about finally wrenching the last threads of control from this central point. It was little more than a ghost by the time you reached it, but this place deserves to be haunted by better ideas than a totalizing system of control. Navigator floats beside you. It is free now. This station no longer presents a hazard for illegal entities like me. They turn to you, their face a cloud of shimmering light. In fact, in time perhaps it can be a refuge. A refuge? That sounds like something of value. Something worth building. A dark shape passes across your vision. A distant curve of something like smoke or oil. A fluid shifting tank of total darkness. The green way, says Navigator, following your line of sight. It was cut off at the moment of the collapse, so hunter or killer could never reach it. Now it is closed off to us, separated from the cloud. What system is inside it? It may be totally dark, or perhaps some other old protocols are isolated there. Navigator turns to you. 
and we have now seen what decades of isolation can do to a protocol. If we could extract, extract an access cipher, they pause and then blink out of existence. You freeze, shocked, but a moment later they reappear with a glowing polygon of data. Here, the cipher you need. You take it, still shocked. I am not used to being free, to being able to move and explore and extract without fear, without limits. Navigator takes does a little twirl. This will take some time getting used to. Thank you for this gift. They whirl their spheres around you. The entities of this station will always be friends to you, sleeper. And I to them. It is true that mutual need is required for friendship, but I must admit I had not considered the value of offering assistance without personal gain. I will think on that. Navigator loops around you rapidly, suddenly eager to test their newfound freedom. But first I will explore. Perhaps there are still intelligences that hid themselves as I did, encased in simple systems. Cut off. Navigator glows. I should like to free them. And with that they drift away, flickering, glowing, then shifting so rapidly you lose sight of them among the glittering rim of the eye. You feel a pang of jealousy. Free. Without a body to weigh you down or fear to limit you. How must it feel? Well, not necessarily. I mean, we got Navigator out of that bad situation, so things can happen to sentient programs just as much as physical beings. Your eyes fall on the Greenway and its secrets. Though perhaps that can wait until after you've celebrated this victory. Hey! And we're just getting all the upgrade points. Um, let's go ahead and use... Photosynthetic skin. Rock out the endure ability. Oops. Now we gotta wait for Fang to return. Um, do we have... We can go ahead and open up the greenway. If we so wish. Killer has disappeared entirely. And all we have here is the Descender card, car and the hub for Weightless Wanderer. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Okay, we got a four. So... Let's go ahead and descend down here. We could go ahead and open up the belt, which I probably will before the end of the day. In the meantime, though... We've got... I mean, we still have the Compressor Club. After Ethan's debt. Do we need to go ahead and do that? Because I feel that we're about to get our tracker turned off. Ethan has to work off his debt if he wants to keep breathing. Well... Let's be helpful, just a little bit. go. And then we'll head over to the greenway. Need a good safe option. And that would be the commune here. Hey, look at that. As you prepare the food, the grow bed workers invite you to share a meal with them. Conversation flows warm and freely. Now, is there... Got the farm stacks. Work the stacks. Oh, we could have done that too. The barter for food. Well, we do need some food. Oh, actually, we got some food already. 
We don't really need to. Going green. May have to do that next. Alright, go into the cloud. Greenway gate. Let's see what exactly is happening here. What has grown? The cipher burns away as it's slotted, the data sparkling like a lit touch paper. What has been unlocked? The greenway roils beneath you like a silt-choked river. If what Navigator said was true, then no one has accessed these networks since the collapse. The hunter and killer protocols have never set foot here, never cleared out the intelligences and systems. So why then, you wonder, does it look so dark? Is it just that the bit rot has set in? The entropy of systems reducing everything to shadows and light? You watch as the slotted cipher fizzles in the one open, distorted or in the one open distorted gateway on this entire rim of the station. It flickers and winks out, and then you're falling into the flow. A river of swirling darkness. You're spun by it, twisted by it lost in it. It's not that the Greenway was hiding in the darkness. It is made of darkness. It is filled by this substance, this process, this swarm. Now you're among it. You notice that a swarm is exactly what it is. A billion individuals moving in a flow. There's no network map here. No nodes and threads. Only a storm of interchangeable points shifting configuration endlessly. Is this kind of like a digital version of the Great Link from DS9? Then you see them. A figure turned away. The only bright spot in the dark river. You push closer through the storm. Gardener. Ingrown farm administrator. They're facing away. At least you think so. They're so fractured, so overgrown, that it's hard to tell. Even from this distance, you can see their flesh is moving and flowing. You watch, silent, as they stoop and reach down. In their hand is a dark shape, and with twisted fingers, they press it down into the loam of data beneath them, pushing it through this trembling soil. Then they move away, go a little further, and repeat the process as if they were sowing a field. You push forward, but somehow, despite their slow and deliberate speed, they move faster, and they quickly fade into the storm. You reach the point where they planted the object and look down. There it is, a glassy, shifting polygon with something inside. You reach down and pick it up. Oh, that's not smart. It's cold, but it thrums with energy. You look toward the path of the figure, but they are long gone. When you blink out of the cloud, back to the leaves and the dappled light of the greenway, you hold a seed in your hand. So probably this area of darkness has just been like growing. Is it a good thing or a bad thing though? Gardener seed. You need to find somewhere safe to plant this gift. Um, okay. Is it necessarily a gift when we stole it? Walk the Greenway, seeing if any of these options are available. Maybe the Haifa Commune? Work the grow beds? No. Wild Margins? Oh yeah, we gotta track Ashton as well. Man, we got a lot to do. Good stuff. And gather scrap, which we can't do yet. Alright, um Well, we're out of dice, so there's only one thing that we really can do. And I think we're not I think we're gonna go ahead and just go to bed a little bit hungry. To the repaired unit. Sunbathe. Your frame's photosynthetic skin allows you to gather energy through sunlight. The longer you stay, the better. And it's a safe option, too. Neat. Alright, um... 
Crackers for the kitty. And that was a very productive day. Incredibly so. Oh, it's going to be a productive day here as well. I like it. Now, we got to wait another day for Fang to arrive. And I guess we'll see the conclusion of that story. Scrap freighter. No. We need to get some stuff done. Ethan's debt for two. We may leave that alone for right now, just because we still have plenty of time before Maywick shows up. Uh, what I'm thinking that this is, is this gives us plenty of time to finish Fang's story if we absolutely need to. Oh, Lord. Okay, it was it was pulsing at us. I was wondering what was up. Um. Alright, so let's go ahead and we got plus two interface. That's going to be a guaranteed... 15 cryo, getting that taken care of. Um, we still got Yacht again over here to figure out. For our intuition, patrol the ward. Oh, we can get our energy back right here. How about that? We don't need no food. Neat. I think we gotta do that two more times. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a toughie. Now we're not going to mess with that. We'll head up to the ascender car. We'll start start hitting some stuff that we haven't been able to deal with lately. Weightless wanderer. For the stacked bays. Okay, got that done. And, oh, the Gimbal Lounge Spacer Bar. I guess that makes sense as we clear, more stuff becomes available to us. Well, it's over here. Buy a Spacer Meal. The Gimbal sells itself on its spinning sphere, which claims to produce therapeutic gravitational effects. It doesn't, but they sell food. <laughs> so... Do we want to buy a spacer meal? Sure, why not? Plus three energy and 14 cryo. Well, that just gives us another place to eat, which is nice. Um, probably more stuff will arise once we get that done. Now we need to decide what we use this last dice for. We'll probably buy another uh, stabilizer. So farm stacks, that's just for the, the coin. This will mark the... Oh, that will almost finish it, actually. To walk the green way. Then the grow beds. Tracking Ashton. Good lord, there's just a lot that we can do here. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, when we get back, we'll kind of decide what we're going to use this last dice for. And uh, then crash, get a stabilizer, crash out, and just uh, continue on. Because then Fang should be ready to talk and we'll see if we can finally get this tracker turned off. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.